Okay, guys, let's make some Halloween embellishments. I hope you like it. So we're going to start with the first one. This one is a die from Chaos Crafts. I'm going to put a link down below for you. And then, of course, it's a doodlebug collection um, that I've had in my vault. So I love, love, love. And then I transformed it. I used the eyes from the Nouveau Drops and then some acetate-like embellishments. I just had them floating up top. I, I love, love, love doing that. And then this one is a sprinkle that I use for the shaker for the windows. Right there you can see the driver's Frankenstein in the bat. I love how this turned out. So cute. And then this one is a ticket bag topper. That's a shaker. Also from Chaos Crafts. I'll put a link down below for you. And I use the same sprinkle mix. And then just added some mini icon stickers to use as ephemera or embellishment um, and then of course a floating ghost so cute I put cheeks on him and I used this punch this one I got from I think eBay so um, it's a pretty good stamp a pretty good punch actually I like it a lot you can use any kind of like ghost that you have and then this one I've made um, a boatload of eyes um, using Nuvo drops so I use like simply white Crushed grape, ebony black, green apple, and something pumpkin orange or something. Um, and I got them all from urbangems.com. And if you want a 10% discount, you can use my code PHA10. And if you're ordering um, until June 24th, 2021, there is a 30% off on Nouveau Drops. And the coupon code is Nouveau, N-U-V-O. So this is what I did. You can just easily pop it off of the silicone. That's the back of a silicone mold that I used. So I just pop it off and then it comes out. Super cute. I thought it was so cute and I wanted to share with you guys. So the next one is, this one is another KS Crafts die. And this is their cake stand die. So let me, let me put them all. So that you can see here's another one i thought this is so cute um just using the mini icon stickers and then you know i put some eyes again i feel like <laughs> that's my flavor of the week is putting eyes on everything um i used a mason jar punch actually like an old mason jar punch from ek success i'll put a link down below i know it's available still on amazon and then i just layered it up this one is a popsicle super simple with eyes and maggots this one sorry about my allergies you guys this one is another one just i just decorated them and gave them personality using the mini icon stickers that's pretty much it here's a new um flip-flop die from kiss crafts <clears throat> i'm gonna put a link down below but it's not available on amazon yet it's still only available in aliexpress this poison apple one is a step and a punch. And right there, that's what it looks like. And then I just put some, um, like I put a stick, I just fussy cut the stick and put some eyes on it. Sorry about my voice, you guys. So this is a spider that we made using Nuvo drops and then um, just drew the, the legs. Another one, this is the mini icon stickers I was talking to you about. I love, love, love investing in these products because they go it, they go such a long way. You can create like a boatload, you can create a scene. You're going to see some of these. I made scenes out of like the tree in the background and the kid trick-or-treating, you know. Here's a pirate, pirate jack. And I've used the mason jar so much. Um, when I created these embellishments super easy super cute and you can you do them while you're watching TV here's a scene I was talking to you about like the light post like the street lamp with a car kind of driving around um, it just needs a sentiment um, here's another scene like Halloween haunted house with like the Sun and the moon 
I mean the moon in the background. So I've used this Stampin' Up! jar punch a lot and I use it for every kind of season. It's one of my most loved punch in my collection. I love, love, love it so much. Oh, here's um, like a vampire pumpkin bat from the punch. Um, it was ideas from my friends during the live. I don't remember who, but um, I have a lot of creative friends who join me during the live and they give me suggestions and I, I write it and then it, it turns out amazing. I'm truly honored to be part of this crafty community. I love it. Here's another one, a ghost flying around the house. I think it's super, super cute. And some more, you know, just generic eyeballs um, in a mason jar kind of thing. I think it's super easy and cute to use. Here's a new um, KS Crafts die, which is like a caramel apple. I just turned it into Halloween. Um, they made it Halloween. He's a Frankenstein one, and that spider was made using Nouveau Drops, so you can totally create dimensional embellishments. This one is the cake die, the cake stand die from uh, KS Crafts with the apple inverted. Cute witch with all the friends hanging out with her while she's trick-or-treating. Um, here's some more embellishments. Those are like the more like charms that I made using glue gun another one so it's all pretty much I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I made um maybe I'm hoping that one of these items is going to spark some inspiration in you and maybe you can use your craft stash but I really really wanted to show you what I made just in case you need inspiration for Halloween I know it's super early but I really, really tried not to go Halloween. It's just that I have a, I, I, I don't know. I have a lot of inspiration and I feel like I'm going to lose the inspiration if I don't create it. And so I just, <clears throat> I just winged it. Um, this coming week, technically like in two days, I'm going to start doing some um, Christmas in July. So I hope you can join me with, the Christmas in July um, for PHA. Our hashtag is going to be hashtag PHA 2021 Christmas in July and we're going to be creating and we're going to be sending out a lot of inspiration um, and creativity and we have themes every week so I know for sure that week one is embellishment week all the time so we're going to start with Christmas embellishments. Anywho, going back to the picture, going back to what we're seeing on the screen, it is a lot more, you know, mini icon stickers, more stickers popped up um, with tape. Just super cute stuff that you can add um, to your projects or you can send in happy mail to your crafty friends. Here's another vampire bat, but this time the wing is up higher. Um, so pretty much the purpose is to, you know, if you, you know, looking back, maybe this is something that you might want to look at in the next you know four or five months and i'm sure i'm going to rewatch it because i think it's full of inspiration and it's just so much fun to look at so um i just put it in like this black box and i think it's going to be so much fun to kind of look at it again before halloween and kind of play with it or or use it right now i'm going to put them all in the box and put them away because I'm going to be starting with Christmas in July, but I do do love you hanging out with me today and checking out my new Halloween DIY embellishments. If you have any questions, friends, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Um, please stay safe, take care, and have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off, and bye-bye, guys.